my name's Tom Drysdale. I'm senior partner at WAS Chartered Architects and I was uh, project architect for this scheme, which is Courthope Avenue in Wadhurst. We've known the Greenwind Company for several years as a, a local specialist joinery firm, and they have been specialising recently in coppiced sweet chestnut and uh, utilising that in buildings. And we were introduced to them as a specialist company for this scheme. The reason sweet chestnut was chosen is because there are thousands of acres of uh, underutilised forest around about the southeast of England, which incorporates sweet chestnut, which historically was always coppiced uh, for almost every aspect of their building life. And therefore we were trying to exploit that and bring that back into use. This site was identified many years ago as having the potential for affordable housing. It's uh, on the fringes of a historic village with great character and quality and therefore anything that was developed on this site also had to reflect that quality. Uh, sustainability is obviously a driving force in all housing these days uh, and one, of, one aspect of that sustainability is the use of local materials and uh, local companies if at all possible. We don't want to be uh, uh, travelling thousands of miles over the oceans carrying timber from unsustainable sources. This is a fairly exposed site and we were trying to exploit the site because of its slope and because of its south orientation for passive solar gain. Therefore most of the houses are facing south with most of their windows facing south, incorporating solars which is obviously a lot, a lot of glazing, a lot of joinery work. So that's going to be exposed to uh, a lot of heat and then, as today a lot of cold and that does tend to put a lot of stress on joinery components. If someone is in, intending to uh, use some, a, a product similar to this, I think they should speak to the Greenwood Company early uh, so that they can be fully involved in the development of it. It's not a simple, simple off-the-shelf service. It's a, it is a bespoke service that requires development and refinement as it goes through. I think we're all aware these days uh, that the environment is a, an important factor of life. And Times are past that we've got to uh, travel over thousands of miles with materials. We've got to try and look again at what we have locally available. It's important too that uh, we can utilise the forests and the people that we've got. Uh, the current economic climate is, is dire for many people and I think if we can even in a very small way uh, reinvigorate the local economy, I think we've got a duty to try and do that.